Hey everyone, welcome to an interesting video. Honestly, so I just want to say this before I do anything. CYL is about voting for who you want. Um, you don't have to vote for who you think is going to win. You can vote for your favorites. You can plug and heave onto the pile of Crom voters that are definitely, he's definitely going to win, but at least if he's first, he's going to be better. So that is a good point to vote for Crom. But anyone should be able to vote for whoever the fuck they want. I don't want to influence your votes. I just kind of want to tell you what my thoughts are because I need to kind of test out my new setup and see if this is viable and if I don't sound insane. We'll see. Um, but anyways, CYL. First off, let's just start with this. Um, I tried to randomize a little bit so it's not stupid characters. I swear to God. In this little thing, they have all the little baby lollies. I don't care about Nelly. I don't care about Mirror. I want adult Tiki over child Tiki. Like... Stop giving me the stupid baby characters. At least got Ishtar, who's pretty cool, and Finn, who's great. And Krom and Black Knight. <laughs> Look at our winner right here. Ishtar, though. I, Ishtar might be top 10, like, or top 20. I think Ishtar has a good shot. Random selection. We'll see in the mid point. Who are you going to give us? We're doing that again. Can I get a playable character? A Frost. <sighs> okay. I'm not voting for any of them. That was dumb memes. Okay, thank God it's not children. I just want to say, um, this is my main thing I want to kind of get across with this video. And that's why I feel like if we want a second Tokyo Mirage Sessions banner, this has got to be by force. Simply, they are not going to do it on their own because probably Atlas and just creative rights. But they're, if you want to get Itsuki in the game or Subasa as a brave, or even just as like a top 10 unit, I know they usually listen to, like, the CYL. That seems to be where they usually pick their stuff up is from the top, especially early on. Like, it was a lot of the top, top 100 of CYL I'll get in because they were all brand new. Um, nowadays, it's a bit different because they have to dip a little bit into the lower ranks to fill out these banners for new heroes because, like, they're not as popular. But if you have brand new new heroes that are pretty popular, like, let's say you want to vote for Maiko because you like your drunk Manuela, but not really, then go at it, sis. Personally... Um, I might actually give a few votes to um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, because I think Itsuki being the Lord, I don't know why people just vote for the Lords all the fucking time. I don't particularly get it, because sometimes they're not deep characters. Like, Itsuki has a personality of a loaf of bread, but you know what? He might get, he has the best shots out of uh, anyone here, so I'm probably going to send a vote his way, just to get some Tokyo Mirage Sessions out there. Um, Kiria and Tsubasa, I think, also have a great chance at, like, at least breaking, you know, top 20 or top 50. Um, personally, I'm going to be voting for Toma, because he's still not in the game, and I like my boy, and I like the insane garish fabrics that they ever use, that they always use for the Carnage forms. Um, any of these are good, too. Like, all the playable characters, the NPCs, I'm sorry if you like Teru and Garrick, no. Although I will say for NPCs, um, if you're going to vote for one, if you're going to vote for a Token Mirage Sessions thing, do me a favor and vote for, um, Quinn, Tarantino, and Excellus because Excellus is funny, and he looks like Tarantino, so I can make feet jokes when he gets revealed. Um, the rest, I'm personally voting for whoever I want, because these are the characters that, you know, it's my ballot. I vote for who, I vote for my favorites, and you guys can vote for your favorites too, because that's how I, I think it'd just be very fun. So I'm definitely going to vote for, um, we'll use this sorter, actually. Har is great. Um, Har is my favorite, and I want him to get in. Now, because I'm petty... Um, because of the last Hatari banner kind of scuffing him, which I was a little annoyed at, and my battle ballot, I don't have a profile picture, I don't know how to do that, um, I chose Volug as my first choice, and I hope you guys do too, because, I mean, I want a Radiant Dawn banner that, you know, actually has Radiant, Radiant Dawn characters on it, like, original Radiant Dawn characters, not Path of Radiance, and Volug, I think, is just another funny option, because he doesn't speak any human tongue, so that's IS's problem and not mine, also, he's hot. So, I mean, yeah, that's where my votes lie. Ooh, that is the... I'm recording in a closet. Ugh, fucking hell, why are the children here? Yes, it is ironic that I'm doing this, but you know what? I thought it could maybe give you the best quality, because I remember... Oh, God, this is so old. Like, six, seven years ago, like, Matt Pat was talking about, like, his setup, and he would just literally be, like, covered in a corner reading a script in his closet, and given mine isn't filled out with a bunch of clothes, so I'm a little worried for reverb. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. Come on, Matthew Patrick. If you can give the Poke Undertale and it comes back years later, can you do this for me too, kid? Um, yeah. 
a lot of my favorites do lie in there, so I'm probably going to go for Haw, I'm going to vote for Volug, I'm probably going to vote for other characters in here. I do like the boys more so than the girls most of the time, so like, man, and like, Kalil is fucking fierce. If you vote Alincia, I, I see why. Alincia is great. Like, any of these characters, Jill still a great option. Kiza is my profile picture, so I guess I should throw at least one to him, because, you know, non-binary finery. Oh, I'm sorry if I refer to his him, as him. It's just at conditioning after years. Um, I think three... I was about to say, because I was going through, I feel like the art of this is so, like, high-res compared to, like, everything else. Because, okay, well, I'm here. I'm definitely throwing a vote to, like, Python or maybe... May, may, may be pretty cool, honestly, too. Maybe Forsyth or... Uh, Python Lucas is really cool. Um, but I want to say... Um, how high quality their little portraits are. And then how JPEGy, I feel like the three houses and Token Raw Session and stuff looks, especially because I'm using, doing this on a laptop, so my face is a little bit closer when I'm like lying on my stomach and reading. Especially the heroes are like, what the fuck happened here? Meanwhile, this is like the highest res I've ever seen some of these characters. Even for like the PNGs that I steal for like videos, like, what? This looks so high res, I don't know why. Letizia, I'm sure she, I'm curious, honestly. So, la usually, like, new OCs kind of get a pretty good deal. Like, they score pretty high, but I don't I don't know how Fjorm's going to store, because I feel like people are annoyed at Fjorm more than anything, at least in, in the English-speaking regions. Maybe they like her in Japan, I don't know. Henriette did really well, Primaria did really well the first time. But I don't know, I feel like the last one's going to be pretty unpopular. Thor's probably going to do well. Um, uh, Odor? <laughs> no. And then Niffle and Noosepelt, I don't know how the fuck they're going to score. I'm not voting for them. I don't know people that really like them that much. But I now notice that Niffle has eyeliner on, which I did not know beforehand. So I'm going to talk about eyeliner, too. I mean, like, I don't know. That was a weird change that I don't want to think of. But I just want to say, if you want to make sure he has the best skills, I can definitely see Crom being voted for. I don't know who, like, I leave him in following. I feel like Three Houses probably has, I mean, let's do Academy Arc, because people, they seem to do these for the main banners. Which is weird, we don't have, like, post-skip art, which is, I don't know, I'm not too crazy over that, because I'm gonna be honest, some of these are just kind of better, like, Caspard, like, with the cool, like, undercut and long hair on the top, over, like, the brainlet that's, like, his hair when he's a child, like, what the fuck is this? This is, it just looks like brain, <laughs> it's, who does, who puts their hair like this? But, yeah, I mean, a lot of these characters, I don't know, I don't know who's the popular Three Houses characters. A lot of them got alts recently, um, because they've gotten an all fucking year. And I feel like people are kind of annoyed at some of these, but also, I don't... Okay, so I know you guys can't see a zero in my dislike ratio, but I talked shit about Legendary Byleth, and you guys were very angry, because that was like a 50-50 ratio. That's the worst I've ever had a video, and I was perfectly okay with that. Let me say it louder for the crowd. Uh, fuck Legendary Female Byleth. Anyways, um... Honestly, vote for whoever the fuck you want. I'm... Let's do another random. Please give me a character that people are actually going to care about, please. Nephany! There! That's a good option. I love Nephany. <laughs> but, yeah. Have fun. This game... Honestly, CYL... Get off my screen, Noe. Um, CYL is all about having fun. Um, you know what? We'll see at the midterms, because that's when things get insane and blood starts to, you know, pour. And more importantly, I get to hear back what my audio sounds like in this closet i don't know i don't know how it's gonna sound but i hope you guys like it um because this might be permanent uh oh if not then i'm gonna hear it back too so i'll see you guys next time bye everyone um i don't know when i'm gonna be back i i mainly take this opportunity because of a short video i just want to do something but for long terms i don't know i really don't know i'm sorry about that though anyways bye everyone